the duct. Did you know that there are over 100 trillion microorganisms living in our guts? Some of these microorganisms include bacteria, fungi, and viruses. Organisms can help enhance our body's immune functions. Some of them can help us maintain healthy weight and prevent things like cancer. These microorganisms include good bacteria. The bacteria that are present in our guts benefit far beyond just the gut itself, playing a role in our immune system and even in our mental health. Some good bacteria include lactobacillus and bifidobacteria. This produces some useful end products called short chain fatty acids. chain fatty acids are involved in harvesting of energy in the body. When children, for example, are breastfed, their mother's milk contains some sugars. These sugars can be broken by the gut bacteria into short chain fatty acids and they promote the health of the gut and can prevent obesity later in life. The good bacteria that lives in our guts, however, needs food for them to be healthy and active. The Food of these bacteria is called prebiotics. Many plants contain different types of prebiotics. These include artichokes, asparagus, bananas, berries, tomatoes, garlic, onions, legumes, green vegetables, and whole grain cereals.
Probiotics are the microbes that we can ingest, such as bacteria and yeasts. They are available as supplements or may be added to the food. Fermented foods which include yogurt, miso, sauerkraut, kimchi, kefir and tempeh are good sources of probiotics. So now that you know probiotics play a very important role in the modulation of our body's immune function, why not try including these probiotic and prebiotic rich foods in your diet in order to diversify the gut for a better health?